We have a literal paid actor Muppet in the back. <laughs> Wait, it's our Muppet. He's in the Muppet movie. <laughs> you guys saw we tried all the pumpkin drinks from Starbucks <laughs> it was seriously so exciting because it's seasonal and fall pumpkin spice drink <laughs> so today we're trying all the Dutch Bros drinks yeah so yeah <laughs> and we have a friend who works at Dutch Bros and she told us to try this really fun drink that she made up she said get a medium ice caramel pumpkin latte extra sweet white coffee with oat milk and pumpkin and caramel drizzle on the cup. <laughs> also, we are honored today to be in Provo on the BYU grounds. <laughs> For some reason when people have like pretty dogs, it like pisses me off. Oh my gosh, it's the Muppet. I'm a huge fan of your work. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't do autographs. Tell uh, us how it was working with Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> was Miss Piggy as bitchy as she sounds? <laughs> Hey guys, Hi, good. good, how are you? Good. We want fall drinks, the new cool. ones. What fall do you have? So we have the caramel pumpkin uh -huh. brulee type thing. Yeah. Um, you can do them as chais, brevets, uh -huh. um, cold brews, anything like that. Those ones. Yeah. Do you want to iced? Wait, how many drinks did we get? Four? <laughs> mm, I love that one. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got our four drinks. So the first one we're gonna try is this. It's a pumpkin chai something something. And this one's a cold brown. Okay, right, try it. Chai it. Chai it. Chai the chai. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. <laughs> that does not taste like chai. That's gotta be something different. I taste. That's mm. disgusting. <laughs> I don't like it. It tastes like water. The only reason why it's good is because there's cinnamon on top. If yep. that cinnamon yeah. disappears, it's, it's literally just gonna water. Taste like water. We're gonna hold <laughs> real <laughs> still while we try this next drink, which is the pumpkin spice cold brew. We're seriously <laughs> so excited for the September season. <laughs> it's giving me welcome to Spirit Halloween, bitch. That's good. It tastes like shit. I don't get why people like this. Why does it yeah, taste like water? Gonna... Everything just tastes like yeah. water. It tastes like a Halloween decoration. If we're <laughs> like, like a like a candle. It's like well, a wa <laughs> yes. This next one is from my friend Haley. She said to get a medium iced caramel pumpkin latte, extra sweet with white coffee and oat milk and pumpkin caramel drizzle on the cup. Holy crap! Ew! <laughs> no, good. it just tastes really sugary. No, it tastes like like jalapeno. <laughs> it tastes like jalapeno. <laughs> what? Jalapeno. Why does it taste? Like... It tastes spicy. It tastes like jalapeno. Wait, wait, wait. Tastes like gelatinous. That is disgusting. That tastes like a jalapeno. <laughs> tastes like a jalapeno. It literally tastes like the habanero pepper. <laughs> it tastes, yeah, it's like Just habanero. The spice. If habanero. I, if I was to taste like a, a hot, spicy pepper without the spice, that's exactly what like it would taste like. I think like mango habanero chicken wings. Uh, I think the milk's kicking in. Oh, no. uh, oh god. All the drinks were really gross, but at the end of the day, we got two free stickers. So that's where I'm finding the abundance of the Lord in my daily struggle. <laughs> I really like the one that tastes like habanero because I love having spicy poops on my bowl first. So today's an exciting day because a package just showed up at my door. But because it's fall, I ordered a new minky blanket. As you know, I'm obsessed with minky blankets. I love them so much. I will literally buy them until I die. I collect them because I'm so obsessed. This is one of the blankets for fall. Okay, let's look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. This is the Urban Polar Hazelnut. You can use my code KYLET45 at checkout if you guys want to get one of these. Definitely do it for fall. They're perfect. This is great for September and October and going into November. So go check it out. This is in the size monster. Look at how beautiful it is. I got a brown one. I also have the Polar Chai. Let me go get it and you guys can see the differences. Here's my minky closet right now. <laughs> And now I gotta put the new one in there. Let me show you. So here is the, this is in the size grande. It's the polar chai. So it's like the color of chai. See how beautiful this is? Okay, so for the next part of the vlog, I'm gonna go to McDonald's and try that new Subway T-Mail. 
so way too mad. Start this vlog is just like a bunch of taste testing. If you want the honest tea, I have nothing to do today and my life is really lonely sometimes. And so I thought it'd be fun to just go try it. Back up real quick. I've been eating really good this week. I haven't really ate a lot of like fast food. So I'm gonna try the sweetie mill and then I'm either gonna go run for a freaking hour on a treadmill. And I'm trying to save money because my best friend is coming into town this weekend. So I wanna be able to spend money with her. And then the week after that, I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to freaking Disney World! I'm going to Disney World! I'm going to Disney World with one of the best people in the entire world. Bumble boy. <laughs> that was a real gagging. I don't know why I was just gagging. We're gonna go on uh, lots of roller coasters and eat churros and popcorn and corn and probably a corn dog. So Disney World vlog is coming soon. I hope you guys are excited. And let's go try the So we hate a mill. So we hate a mill. So we hate a mill. <laughs> McDonald's, what can I get for you? Hi, can I try that sweetie meal? What sauce would you like with that, sorry? Oh, can I just do the sweet and sour and the barbecue? Why did he ask what sauce I wanted when it literally says on the thing, sweetie sauce comes with a barbecue and a sweetie sour. Sweetie and sour. There you go. Thank you. Ah, dude, just got the sweetie meal. I gotta pull out my teeth. Mm. Blessed be the Lord above that my teeth will be straighter than my sexuality. Amen. <laughs> I did not just say that. I take that back. I'm straight. And so is my boyfriend, bitch. <laughs> That's not funny to joke about. That's how we're hating, Mel. The commercial that I saw, she gets the Big Mac, she puts fries on it, and pours the sweet and sour over it. So I'm gonna grab some fries, slap this on there. I'm gonna slap them potatoes down on the Big Mac. Bitch, I just dropped a fry the fuck. I'm sorry that I'm so annoying. <laughs> I just dropped another fun fire. Here we go, drizzle that shit on. Oh, I never thought to put sweet and sour on my Big Mac. Here we go. Okay, that girl knows what's up. They should put sweet and sour on every Big Mac. Whoa, my life is literally changed right now. Is that my best year to test it? I would just like to bear my testimony that Saweetie is the god of all foods and she loves you eternally to the end of time. <laughs> and through the Saweetie mill, we can fill the line of the Lord. <laughs> I love how you're in a freaking suit. This is the candle that I'm burning right now. It's apple pumpkin. I got too excited and just went straight to my favorite smelling one. Let the fall festivities begin, ladies. They call me Big Daddy215 and I'm gonna get a strike. Jesus is gonna go. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I'm whittling the best ball in this town that I've seen. <laughs> the more weight, the more velocity it has when it strikes. <laughs> Try hucking it, Tucker. Try <laughs> hucking her. Okay. 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 Here goes Jesus. Oh, with a strike. <laughs> you knew that my brother was Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, did you know my brother's Jesus? Oh my yeah. Is he a bull? <laughs> Tucker, you're ruining the shot. <laughs> and yes, in case any of you were wondering, he is an exclusive member at Costco. Let it go, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh, it's going to do it. Okay. It's going to do it. Strudel boy just bought a Ferrari shirt. It was thousand dollars. He's rich and he's 12. Help me out. He's iced out. How are you so rich at such a young age? What do you do for it? Uh, marketing. Marketing. <laughs> Any advice for kids your age? Get big and win. <laughs> 